Good morning. Good morning. I'm gonna let everybody come in. Why does it sound like my audio is in um 100? Hey, chat. Can y'all hear me? Chat. Can y'all hear me? Chat. Can y'all hear me? Okay. Cool. Yeah, my bow is double checking. Um, I see everybody coming in the chat, man. Shout out to y'all. Um, Jose Soto, RBE, RBE. Um, Nina Baby says, Hello, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. Um, shout out to the members. I'm off this morning, I have time. <laughs> I mean, the lives always go up to the channel where you can click replay anyway. So I appreciate you sincerely, Tiff. Um, shout out to the members, Brick by Brick, Just Zo. Shout out to the members, Adam Kareem. Salute ARP, RBE is the brand. Shout out to the members. I see ARP live, I click. Really that simple. I appreciate that, Eddie. Um, and once again, shout out to not everybody that's always rocking, of course, not just y'all, but all the RBE members, all the official RBE channel members, man. We appreciate y'all. Just so a member up in the building early. We got Castro, a RBE channel member up in the up in the live early. Tiffany, don't flirt with me. I'll flirt back. All right. You better ask somebody. <laughs> I appreciate you, Tiff. Um, what do we got here? A uh, stomach egg. Zero, make K-Shine versus Big K happen this year, please. I might talk a little bit about K-Shine in a second. I might. I might. I might. Shout out to Opa Locker. He's always up in here showing love. Yo, AR, I need Lux in that blue room. Shout out to Lux. Shout out to Opa Locker 305. Maybe I'll talk a little bit about Lux, too. You never know. Um, I appreciate that sincerely. Do, 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 do. New channel member, Steph, just Steph. Has just joined the YouTube memberships. He's become an official RBE member, channel member. I appreciate y'all. Uh, called out today. Let's get to the chicken. <laughs> Salute for even uh, offering to help shine. I I'll address that. Um, but the real name, I appreciate the super homie. Um, all right. Shout out to everybody that's joining nice and early. What's today? Happy Thursday. Um, real quick, RBE business before I get into what everybody's here to hear about and what everybody's here to uh, catch up to speed on is um, we just released last night Arsenal versus B Magic. If you go to the RBE channel, it's up at the at the top of the channel. It's featured right now. It's available for the RBE channel members, and um, the full drop will be Friday. So if you're not an RBE channel member, we got you this Friday. It will be dropping. Um, it was a dope back and forth by those two guys. In the building, people were calling it a classic. And um, B Magic was one of the people that was voted by the commentators as performer tonight. Remember, the commenta commentators we had, Rosenberg, Raw, Vodafly, and Showtime SP. They voted uh, B Magic, Ill Will, and Averb. And then the winners got split between a verb and ill will but b magic was one of those guys so you know if you didn't see this battle on a stream um or on vod or anything like that then yeah tune in uh if you're a member go watch it now it's available for you if you're not a member we got you friday you know what i'm saying just hold off a, a couple more days the members got early access and um you will see why b magic was voted one of the performers of the night and you'll also see why me and Arsenal had to get right back into signing some contracts because Arsenal went off too. So um, you might see Arsenal back on RBE pretty soon. Um, once again, shout out to the members. Uh, some other RBE business coming up. October 14th and October 15th, or is it the 13th and the 14th? Which is the Friday, I mean the Saturday and the Sunday. Am I messing up? I got so much going on. Yes, it's 14th and 15th. Uh, October 14th and October 15th, VA intake four is going down. It's got a bunch of no way out battles on there as well. You got people like Caution on there. You got Calf on there. I think my guy Snipes on there. You got Raw Image on there, I believe. Um, got a bunch of hitters. Um, is 6-8 on there? Is, is, is Will Major on there? 
You know what I'm saying? You got a bunch of RBE bricks on there. Two-day event. It's like 20-something battles. Uh, shout out to Runya Day, who will be uh, shooting those battles as always for us. But um, yeah, the flyer. I'm going to put the flyer on my Instagram today, as a matter of fact. Or go to Lawrence's page, or go to Wing's page, or go to any of the bricks that's promoting on Twitter. If you need further details of the exact address and all that. They also have a VOD. Go to rarebreedent.com. If you want to cop the VOD, you will see all the battles for the super low. Them intakes been going crazy, man. Wing and Lawrence been putting together these 20, 20 plus of man, 30 plus battles. Like y'all are crazy. Y'all talk about bars. Mine gonna fry from bars that weekend. All right, let's get to um what everybody's here for. So um another new member, Donald Runner Runner. Shout out to you. Welcome, welcome to the exclusive RBE channel memberships. You're part of the, the 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 team. Let's get to it. <laughs> it probably sounds real cliche when people be like, I wasn't gonna talk about this, but I did. Or people be like, you know, I never was gonna say anything, but I got tweeted a lot. Or I wasn't paying attention, but I got a bunch of text messages. You know, like that's real cliche. And sometimes people just be like putting up that little screen in front of them, like, you know, damn well, damn well, you was gonna talk about it for real, for real. But I'm gonna let y'all in on something. Um, I really did get a, a bunch of phone call. I, I'm me in here, like in, in this culture. Like, so that you know, if something like that happens, I'm gonna get a, a bunch of bloggers, a bunch of DMs from fans, battlers, um, managers, friend, people that call me behind it. And I told all of them, nah, I ain't no blog, I'm cool. Because that situation with Hollow to Don and those tweets from like two days ago doesn't require a blog, doesn't require follow up from ARP. Why? Because there's already a lot of that. Um, that is played out in the public from 2019. And I'm going to get into some of the history and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that tweet from Hollow, like people got on Hollow's ass about it. Even Hollow knows that. They got on his ass about that. Bloggers got on his ass about that. Fans got on his ass about that. Even I chimed in when I saw it. I caught up to speed. I'm just like, not you too, Hollow. Like, just a little tweet. You know, like, like what, what is this? Like, what are we doing here? Tomato, tomato? Like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a bunch of people that Hollow spoke to privately about that on the phone. Um, he did blogs about it, not for this recent controversy surrounding K Shine, but also prior Hollow campaign for K Shine and also fellow fellow battle rappers. He has tweets and he addressed a lot of things in the past about URL's behavior, saying, I'm on the side of the battler, I'm on the side of the artist. Wrong is wrong. So all that history cannot be undone by Hollow's tweet from two days ago. So all of that made me say, like, I'm telling people on the phone, whatnot, like, nah, blog for what? Like, like, if you read into my tweet that says, not you too, Hollow, interpret that. What that really means is I'm trying to say, like, you're folding, you're leaning, you're bending. Um, something got to you or someone got to you, right? That's what my tweet means. So me blog on it for what? Everybody's already got the truth. Everybody's already got the details. Everybody's already got the history. You know, I got all of that shit. Oh, this is me, y'all. You know, I got all of it. You know what I'm saying? So I shouldn't even say I do. I should say we do. Like, like, I don't need to get into that. Blog on it for what? The reason I cut this camera on just now, though, for y'all, and for me, and for Romano Law, is um, because this morning at 7.32 a.m. Eastern time, I got a phone call from Hollow to Don. That's why I'm cutting this camera on today. Right? That's why I said, all right, I'm, let me, now I'm definitely going to talk about this. Um, I was leaving it alone. But that phone call this morning at 7.32 a.m. from Hollow to Don himself is what's making me say, okay, different ball game now. Because now it's like confirmed of what we all know. 
like you watch Vodafly's blog and he says sarcastic, like he's joking because we all, we know how this, this culture is and we know how these people work. Right. So Vodafly's in there. He don't got the facts and he didn't get the phone call from hollow. Like I did, but you know, he's joking in there. Like, you know, he got that phone call and it's like, yo, hollow you, but you know, if you're going to get a bag over here, you better go tweet this or whatever. You know what I'm saying? People already, it's like, you can't expect everybody to be that stupid. So everybody already knows what's up. But this morning elevated it for me. This elevated it for me. It changed the ball game for me. Before I get into this, this phone call, before I get into that, let's just paint a backdrop here of why this even matters. Why this even matters. We all have heard situations like Cassidy and Freeway. Cassidy would tell you he's in negotiations to battle either Murder Mook or Charlie Clips on RBE. He gets thrown the whole kitchen sink. And for whatever reason, that battle doesn't happen. You hear about things like um, Hollow to Don. He puts up his contract on Twitter, says, I was paid $26,000 not to battle Murder Mook on RBE. Right? Fast forward, K Shine goes up to one of the biggest urban hip hop uh, podcast media outlets that we have right now. One of our own, Math Hoffa. Kayshawn goes up on my expert opinion and he says, what? It ends up being the title of the video. URL paid me $15,000 to not battle on RBE. And I'll put a, an alleged on all this, okay? Okay, folks, let's put an alleged out here, okay? So what happens is it starts to, for, for people that's not fully behind the scenes or in the loop, you know, I say all the time, the pieces to the puzzle are there, you just gotta put them together. It's harder for people that's not really behind the scenes or part of the culture as far as like being active in the culture to put the pieces together. But now even the people that are the least likely to put some of these puzzles together, they start to because even the fans are, are can't be stupid forever. They can't be kept in the shade forever. So they say, damn, like this person said, and then this situation over here seems to be exact same. And then this person said, paid to not battle on RBE. This seems to be, this seems to be a trend. This seems to be a pattern. And how many times do I say on these lives, if you mistake or if you interpret a hundred coincidences as a coincidence, you're stupid, you're ignorant, or you're purposefully just flying yourself blind. You just drive like this on purpose because it's like, you Steve, you're wondering this shit. I, I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. A hundred coincidences ain't a coincidence no more. It's the reality of what's being, being done on purpose. I said that plenty of times, right? Don't be stupid. Don't be naive. Don't be a fucking chicken shit. Don't be a fucking pussy. Don't be a, don't be, don't be, don't be scary. You know what I'm saying? And don't be Stevie Wonder. Okay? So, why would Hollow put that tweet out? Let's get to this now. Let's get to this phone call now. Why would Hollow, three years, this was 2019. We're in 2023. We're in the winter of 2023. It's about to be Halloween. We're moving into 2024. Since he put up that tweet, since he, made those phone calls since he done those blogs since he did that campaign since he posted that contract in 29 all of that stuff why in fast forward fourth quarter 2023 would hollow then put up a tweet to contradict that why why i'm gonna let y'all just use your minds for a second The level of, of viewership and the type of viewership that's on my expert opinion changes things a little bit. That creates a, an alarm for them. People like, oh, K Shine, there's a title that goes up now that we pay K Shine $50,000 not to battle on RBE. Let's try this again because we did this before. Let me ask a question to URL. Let's try this again. URL. 
Did you call Hollow the Don and ask him for a favor to tweet that? Some nasty work out here, man. It's nasty. And then even have the audacity to get underneath the tweet and be like, thank you for clearing that up. <laughs> Yo, nasty out here. Dirty game. Dirty. Real dirty. Allegedly. I guess. And I'll, if I say allegedly, I'm just put that alleged for hollow. Like, all right. Question again. Did you call Hollow to Don and ask him for a favor? To tweet that. Because I guess four years later, it gets heightened again. And now it's becoming a trend of people hearing this, of people being paid not to battle on RBE after K Sean goes up on MEO. Nasty work, nasty work. So I'm not here to throw Hollow under the bus. Let me speak about Hollow specifically at this point. This is important. I wouldn't be saying this right now if Hollow the Don didn't co-sign it. And before we got off the phone, I said to him, I said, we were talking about what's fair and what's not. And I said, I think it would be fair now if, if, if I clarified what you just told me. Do you have a problem with that? And he says, nah, because I was wrong and you, was, you feel wronged or whatever. So let me tell you what Hollow tells me. He says, he called me, he, he called me and asked me for a favor to tweet that. And interpreting it as a favor, because when I tweeted that stuff about your company in 2019, the things that you were doing and the things that you did that I went against, right? I did it publicly versus privately. That guy's a good manipulator, man. That guy's smart. That guy's a smart guy. I, 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 could, I could actually envision it. You owe me a favor because I was doing some foul shit and you outed it publicly. You should have outed my, my foul shit privately. So because you didn't out my foul shit privately, you owe me a favor. And Hollow agrees. Okay, I owe you a favor. I'm going to tweet that for you. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hollow calls me this morning. He says, I hate being in the middle of this shit. I explained to Hollow. I said, you can't look at it like that. It'd be one thing if I was calling you and I asked you, yo, I'm in lawsuits and all types of stuff. I need you to say it. none of this stuff comes from RBE. It's him that called you and said, I want you to do this. I want you to publicly say this for me as a favor. As soon as you hear the word favor, then you realize like what's happening. I need you to do this for me as a favor behind this MEO shit and this trend that's being painted publicly now for people. All right? Hollow tells me like, this is uncomfortable. I asked him, I said, you realize why they on your ass? He said, yeah, I see it. The blog, the fan, they on my ass now. I'm dealing, I gotta, I gotta take this on the chin now. I said, but why would you, why would you say that that wasn't true? Pay attention to these words right here. I asked myself, why would you say that wasn't true, Hollow? He said, because Piper Boy's tweet wasn't true because it was battles plural. Piper Boy's tweet was about multiple battles. When I said what I said, it was just the $26,000 to not battle Murder Mook on RBE. So, I'm saying it was wrong because I'm talking about a single instance. Piper Boy's tweet alluded to multiple. So that's why he was able to use that and try to give this favor back to this phone call that he got. This person that calls him from URL and asks him for this favor and, 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 and twist it in the public for a tweet. This is what Hollow the Don just, just told me. 7.32 a.m. this morning. This is what Hollow the Don just told me. Dirty, nasty game out here these people are playing. Nasty. Dirty. I asked him to tweet that as a favor. I explained to Hala. I said, back then, 
when you was when you were saying that I'm on the side of the battle is and you was making those phone calls and you was doing those blogs and you was putting up those tweets and you was posting those contracts, right? You were taking a stand for something. You were standing on morals and principles. You were standing on what you thought was being wrong and what was foul towards you, right? You realize how it looks out here to backtrack on that? I know. And he tried to make it clear as well. He said, I didn't do this because I'm booked or, I'm, you know, they got me booked for something like that. I don't even like people saying that. I said, yeah, but they're going to they're gonna try to understand why you're backtracking. And they're all going to call you a liar for it. And rightfully so. It's like, okay. Did you lie on them then, or are you lying for them now? Hollow just confirmed that he's lying for them now. So he just told me. He said, y'all, I just want to stay out of this shit. I said, but that man just called you, manipulated you, and put you in it. Just used you. Just used Hollow. And the, re the only reason, no disrespect to Hollow, I fuck with Hollow. The only reason why I say the word manipulation is because you paint it as a favor. You paint it as a favor. You present it as you owe me. a. The reason why you owe me this tweet as a favor is because you put my wrongs out there prior in the public. But I also explained to Hala, I said, that's that's one thing that empowers fuck shit, not just with allegedly with URL, with anybody that does fuck shit, right? It's no different than the term closed mouths don't get fed. You empower people by allowing them to get away with stuff by allowing them to, to sabotage or, or use you or do bad business or or you empower, especially when you just allow it to be swept under the rug. You empower people. And I feel like even sometimes the money, because money is power, what I can do for you will help you be hushed. What I can do for you will help you be comfortable sweeping it under the rug. What I can do for you will make you shut up. It's no different than shout out to my nigga Doggy Diamonds. I think we dropped this on the channel. Like he gave a story of he was trying to do an interview with Rex, you know, coming off of the new news of Norbs and URL as partners or co-owners together and all that type of stuff. Right. When that lawsuit first started. So being that math versus Rex was the first URL main event and Norbs was instrumental in putting that together. You don't be a part of putting together the first main event for this new company url unless you're a part of the company right so doggy diamonds wants to interview rex about it and then all of a sudden the interview doesn't happen doggy diamonds i'm pretty sure if you speak to rex rex will tell you reasons why that that interview didn't happen you speak to doggy diamonds doggy diamonds will tell you reasons why that interview didn't happen but doggy diamonds believes that reasons why it didn't happen is similar to this as long as i got some money moving around as long as I got some opportunities moving around, some, some bookings moving around, I hold enough power for you to carry my foul play. And every once in a while, you're going to come across a few rare breeds. You're going to come across an ARP. You're going to come across a Remy. You're going to come across an easy to block. There's a couple people that's just, or, or even a K Shine now, that's just going to be like, nah. I don't want your money. I don't need your money. I don't want your fame. I don't want your platform. I don't want your success. I don't want your million views. I don't want none of that. All I want is to stand on what I believe in. And here's the thing, too. I know people could get tired of the story. Jesus knows I'm tired of it. I swear to God, I'm tired of the story. I know other people are tired of this story, too. Sometimes it's just like y'all are getting numb to it, right? This whole URL and RBE thing, y'all are probably numb to it by now. Like, you probably don't even put credence in big shit that happens behind the scenes now because it's just like, ah, what else is new? We already know about this war, right? I'm tired of it too. I'm fucking tired. Trust me. Trust me. It's fucking corny. It's stupid. It's petty. There's a lot of, I know y'all are tired of it. But when people are just like, yo, here we go again, like we outside with this shit again, because if nobody speaks up, right, because that's what makes people react. What you see, Hollow the Don gets a phone call for a favor, right? That's the only thing that makes people move. Everybody that wants to tuck their tail and be quiet and, and Homer Simpson into the bushes, nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to move. And when you continue to do this shit to my company. Like, who dare ask me to be quiet about it? No, I need y'all to understand this shit. 
I have to. It's the same reason why Sean is 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 speaking out publicly. I need y'all to understand this shit. Or the other hundred battles that I spoke out of early this year, or this, I might be, I need you to understand this shit. That's why people speak out. Some people retract. Some people go back on their word. Some people tuck their tail. Some people swallow all that bullshit and say, fuck it, opportunity or a bag. I got to do it. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? But instead of asking a question of here we go again, it really is this simple. Because you've never heard allegedly RBE try to pay somebody not to battle on you or, or none. You don't hear this shit come. It's really as simple as stop the sabotage allegedly and the fuck shit. Just stop it. Just stop it. Dude that called Hollow on some man shit. And I could even say a couple names here too because I feel like the two brains over there that are allegedly involved the most in some of these movements is Eric Beasley and Chico, right? That's my opinion, allegedly. Fellas, fellas. There was even a point like through Swave. This was after my car with Young Ill versus Ill Will and Averb versus Iron Solomon got blown up with the whole Averb versus Loaded Lux shit. Averb was under contract while he was shooting that face off in California with Loaded Lux. When he left, when he left California, he called me and me and him had our conversations. Me and Verb is cool now, so I'm not getting into that shit. Me and Verb is good money, so I'm not getting into all that shit. We figured all that out. Shout out to Verb. You know what I'm saying? We figured out everything that me and Verb needed to figure out. But you was doing, not Verb, people, you're doing shit. After that, I didn't, I didn't call a lawyer. I called Swave. And I said, give me Beasley. Oh, I'll text him. Wasn't, give me Beasley's number. Because before things only get worse before they get better. So I, so I call Sway by his Sway. But give me Eric Beasley's fucking number. And I text him like, a, I got these text messages. Even my lawyers know about these text messages. I text him. Lawyers weren't involved back then. None of this shit. It wasn't none of this legal shit going on. I text this man, Eric. And I was just like, yo, man, I think we should get on the phone and talk. Because I know with all this, things only get worse before they get better. Like, this is, this is, this is bad. This is bad. Never got a reply from the man. I did the man shit because Mr. Beasley, you know what shocks me? I got to talk to you directly as a man. You know what shocks me? It shocks me how intelligent you are, but how much I really feel like you struggle with your pride and your ego. I really feel that you do. I feel like you have a Big conflict that's pride and ego driven. And they're also King Petty. <laughs> you are like from the trailers and all that type of shit. But that's cool. It'd be entertaining. And I understand that you even tell, y'all tell this to people. You would do anything to stay number one. And you try to follow these art of war principles and, and these art of seduction books and all that type of stuff. That's all cool. I guess it's how to win in corporate America or in business because it's all cutthroat out there. So I fucking get it. I fucking get it. I think that's one of the easy, one of the reasons why we clash so much is because I'm one of those people that's just as fucking smart. And I see it. People don't like to be seen, especially when they doing certain shit. They don't want to they don't want the blanket pulled up. Nobody wants the Wizard of Oz shit coming down. So I understand a lot of the conflict there. Right. And there's other shit, too. Been told that story from multiple people calling people about the trail and how it was shot for shorty and everything like that. It's ridiculous, dude. I think you should have hit me that time. You can hit me now. I don't, I want to show the world. I don't have the pride and the ego that I feel that y'all do. Man shit, right? That's what they, everybody wants to say. Be a man, be a man, be a man, be a man, right? Petty, constant petty, it's, it's more feminine than, than manly. And we got a lot of fucking feminine shit going on. Do you see an end game in all of this shit? Other than let's, let's just see who, how, how we could out petty or, or, or who could just do the worst. <laughs> who could have the best event or the best battle. You can have it, dude. Y'all got it. I'm cool. I'm, I'm all right. I'm on some other shit right now. I'm like, fuck battle rap again. Just like I was earlier when everybody was knocking on my door saying ARP, ARP, ARP. 
I'm on that again. I'm disgusted with battle rap. I'm cool. I'm cool on battle rap. I'm all the way over here now. I'm out the way. I'm going to do my little blogging, drop my little battles, have my little situations here and there. But, dude, dude, really? We got these calls going to Hollow now. You put Hollow in the direct line of fire. Hollow didn't see it. I explained it to him this morning. We are in a lawsuit, right? URL's lawyers watch my interviews and my blogs. My lawyers watch all the shit that they do too. Everything. That's how it goes in, in, this, in this type of process. It's just how it goes. It's part of it. It's got to wake up and deal with it. Like, that's how it goes. But said all of that, said all of that, really? Like, you literally just put hollow in a line of fire. Like, what if I go subpoena, subpoena hollow now? To make sure, like, no, 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 no. All these miles and miles of evidence and records that we have over here, and, and hollow happens to be a occurrence, and verb happens to be one, and old red, and this person, that person, that person, shouting on sugar, and all that, blah, 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 blah. I'm putting it all on the table, and you try to pull out hollow by asking him for a favor to put himself in that situation where now everybody's on his fucking neck. Like, what are you talking about, hollow? You just sacrificed him. I feel like similar happened to Danny Myers. Danny Myers is, is doing interviews talking about like, yo, you know, everything was about to end. It's going to snatch me out of my, my hustle battle that was a week and a half away and all of this, blah, 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 blah. And like the bloggers say, nobody heard a peep from URL. You just sacrificed these people. Put them in the lines of fire. Put them in the lines. In these legal games, like these lawyers, like they'll sit there and collect a check. They're going to go after whoever we save. It's just money for them to collect. And it's part of the process, too. Really? Really, dude? Once again, ARP, why are you up here on live? I don't, I don't just wake up and, and make this shit up, though. I don't just wake up and say, yo, you know, I just feel like... No! I'd rather be talking about fucking the fucking Damian Lillard trade. <laughs> Or is James Harden going to fucking continue showing up at practice right now because he just fucking made his way and shit? Who's taking the East? Who's taking the West? You know what I'm saying? What else is going on right now? The Keefe D shit is crazy. I can get to the whole bag right now. Keefe, the Keefe, like, dude, really? You were that fucking disgruntled that people was telling the story for you, that you had to get out there and tell the story yourself outside of a legal agreement that you already had, which now puts you in the line of being incriminated. You just put yourself in jail. Like, all of that shit is interesting to me. This is all corny, stupid shit. Who, who has time for this? Y'all niggas don't want to be hearing from y'all lawyers every five minutes. Like, yeah, you know, your depositions is coming up. Or, oh, this is going on with ARP. Or this is going on with Norbs. Or you might face this countersuit. Or you might have this. Or you Why? When you know how small this industry is and all this shit that's going on and all the shit that you have done. It makes me even look at look away at some of these other league owners. It's like, yo, I be trying to be respectful and I be biting my fucking tongue so fucking much. But it's just like, even when I did the, the follow the imitator series, there was like four or five different league owners that were sending me information to include it for them. Some of your biggest league owners. They ain't turn around and shake y'all niggas' hands and all that type of shit, and I get it. I just couldn't be that, so don't ask me why I wasn't there. Don't ask, It don't make no sense. The real one wasn't there. Duh. And I'm, I'm not. I'm speaking around that because of how sensitive it, sensitive it is. Man, rest in peace. I'm not even trying to say no names and get into that directly. But let's be real. Like, how the fuck? Like, y'all, these people play these, these, and do all this, so much evidence and all this shit that y'all do every fucking day. I don't think it's that serious. And if you feel it's that serious, call me and tell me it's that serious. Pick up the phone, call me and say, yo, ARP, I'm, I'm not your friend. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to do business with you. I'm really speaking from my own mutual feelings, right? I don't want to do business with you. None of that. It is that important to me. This is all I have. That I will do anything to be number one. I promise you. I promise you. All I'm going to do is say, like, I'm cool, dude. We have an understanding. We have an understanding now. Because all that other shit about her, which ain't valid, I was never really able to agree with that. All the insecurities about these cars and these battles, 
I always thought your company was too big for that. As intelligent you as you are to do all these stupid and, and, and these illegal, alleged illegal and unethical things, nah, he's too smart for that. But it is that serious for you. This stuff is that important for you. I understand. We'll have a, I promise you we'll have an under, a, a fucking understanding. Finally. Finally. Get all these other motherfuckers out the fucking way. They can't even comprehend on my level. And it seems they can't comprehend on your level too much either. Because you get away with manipulating people a lot. I explained to Hala. I was like, yo, you, you just did something real stupid. <laughs> you didn't see this? No, I didn't see that. You didn't see the legal play hit? No, I didn't see that. You didn't see out right after the coming? You didn't see that come? I didn't see that coming either. I do. Move all these other people out the way. These stupid hanger-ons and followers and all that. You know, I, I hit you before. Just call me, dude. Because what's your end game in all this shit? To continue just add on? Where I got to get a 732 call this morning to confirm? I tweeted that because I got asked by you to do a favor. To help clean up this perception that we spend money to block RBE battles. Damn, it. I'm telling the world right here, right now in this live. For me, it ain't that important. I can't speak for everybody. I can't speak for everybody. For me, it ain't that important. It ain't that important. Hollow apologized to me on the phone this morning. As a man, I accept it. I told Hollow, I said, number one, I respect the fact that you called me. You didn't have to. Number two, I respect the fact that you apologized. Number three, I respect the fact that I'm telling you here, man to man, that I do think that it's fair that I should be able to speak my piece about it too because I'm in a lawsuit with these people, All right? You don't know what's going on behind the scenes with that. So you doing what you did, you were used. And Hollow said, I understand. So I respect Hollow for those three things or else I wouldn't have even been here on this live. So, respect the hollow. Battlers though, when y'all get those phone calls, please be careful because number one, you sacrifice your integrity. You, you sacrifice your own morals. You don't know what you're putting yourself to be a part of or involved in. You don't know if you're burning bridges. You don't know if you're stepping on somebody else. You don't know if you're going to end up being called into something legally for you. Just there's all of these different ramifications towards when you think somebody is calling you because y'all are cool like that and you're being possibly manipulated into being a pawn or being a piece of just a narrative, a public narrative, because niggas go to hell and back over narratives like one of them over there quit his job. And I feel like that's his full time job is just making phone calls all fucking day and try to control narratives all day. And that's another thing I want to say respectfully. People think that you create insulation. You're not. You're not. I speak to multiple different legal teams regularly. I spend the money on this shit regularly. And it's just like, no, like just because this person is calling a blogger, you're not insulated. You're not insulated. And you should know that because of the Norbs lawsuit. There's, there's no insulation there. doesn't matter. It's all tied together. It's all tied together. Even some of the fucking uh, recruiters whose names are too small to even say. My lawyers are aware of them, though. Because I get files in from them, too. Hit the bricks up and try to do this and do that. Yeah. yeah at this point, I don't even have to be like, damn, I'm keying them off. Because I already have enough. It's like so many of y'all, y'all tying yourselves in. And you even heard in and incriminating these, pe these people up here too, even though they're aware of a lot of shit that they've done directly. But there's just so much. There's just so fucking much. And, and I know that it's just cultivated. It's an energy that's cultivated over there. And one day, one day, hopefully, sooner rather than later, niggas will look in the fucking mirror and decide what is worth it and what is not. This is, this is grown man shit that I'm saying right here. That's grown man. It don't get no more grown than this. And I'm not waving no fucking white flags because I stand on the side of, uh, of right. I always will stand on the side of right. Y'all seen that for me for 10 plus years. I stand on the side of right. Whether you agree or disagree. 
I've been the league owner that didn't fold, didn't tuck their tail, didn't conform, didn't get in line, didn't ask, didn't check in for shit that I wasn't supposed to check in for. I'm the only one and possibly rem now. The only ones. You know what I'm saying? So I, I get it. It's, it's like a lot. You have to do a lot to put the industry in a position like that. You have to move around and flex and take a lot of risks and chop at a lot of shit and make a lot of moves and make a lot of phone calls, send a lot of text messages, ask a lot of favors. You got to do a lot of shit to, to keep that type of control on the industry where you got all these conforming league owners, conforming blog bloggers, conforming media. People that are conforming battle rappers, people that tuck their tail, people that are compromised. You have to do a lot. But the only way you can do that is by getting your hands extremely dirty. And in this industry, no fucking hands is going to get that fucking dirty without all these people knowing. And then people start passing shit. It's just a lot. I didn't know I was going to get this call 732 this morning from Hollow, but I'm glad I did. So... I guess I could close it like that. Once again, I'm asking the question, did you call Holler to Don and ask him for a favor to tweet that? Or did he tweet that on his own omission randomly four years later? Hmm? Which one? I, you're going to go up to champion again and script the reply? <laughs> I'm not worth it. I wasn't even worth your, your text message. Uh, phone call that time neither. Mm -hmm. Fast forward, you're probably spending tens and tens and tens of thousands of dollars, you know, trying to prosecute prosecute a case with me. So maybe I was worth it. Or maybe you just got money to burn, ego and pride to burn, time and energy to burn. When we can all be off doing better things. <laughs> uh, ego and pride, man, it's 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 a mother. Happy uh Thursday, everybody. Y'all wanted. The reply from me, I didn't have it for you because it was all obvious. We knew about everything. We we knew about it. We read it. We knew it was like, really? Why? But once again, shout out to Hollow because, you know, he was used. He was manipulated. But he still came clean to me. And I respect that. And I appreciate that. I get I. I Keep it real, like for a moment that I'm looking I'm from outside looking out, I was just like, damn, I just lost respect for Hollow. But I gained, I gained a bunch of it back though, because I'm just like, okay, I get it. And he takes a position like, I'm just gonna sit back and I say nothing because I realize now like what just happened and I'm out of this. But I was never the person that inserted you in the first place, inserted you into this hole in the first place. So that's wild, man. That's wild. So this is why everybody's talking about Hollow, because he got a phone call to do that. Allegedly, it's crazy. Got to put down the ego, man. I feel like there's people in this world that just be like, "Yo, I'll take it to my grave before I lose something to Norbs. I'll take it to my grave before I lose something to ARP." It's not a fight. I mean, it is, but it ain't. If you catch my drift, if you're as intelligent as I am, you realize what I'm saying. Like, it's a fight, but it ain't.